Hello viewers, today I will share with you how to make a parallax or shader box in SketchUp that is uh, usually basically make for uh, fake interiors uh, and basically used in exterior rendering in uh, night mode or day, day mode for uh, getting realistic uh, uh, interior surface, interior rooms uh, if uh, I gonna render it, you will see the effect of which uh, I have made it just uh, first of all you will uh, render it in V-Ray so here uh, it is, I now start on interactive render if I press on it here is our viewport if I uh, move this viewport you will see that our um, render is still ongoing according to our uh, angle camera angle so in this video i will uh, share with you how to make it and uh, make it properly for any sketchup model and uh, make a library for uh, in fake interiors and you will get uh, all uh, popular parallax model uh, for uh, SketchUp uh, in my website you can get it uh, from below link so first uh, we have to uh, create new file file new so here nothing in our model just uh, delete these people and uh, uh, take a rectangle according to any size and delete this first face after that click on this shape and click on right button and press on reverse faces you will get uh, this type of uh, surface this is render face and this is now uh, dark side face that uh, will over the render face we need this render face that why I just reverse it and now we have to uh, set textures on it for uh, making uh, fake interiors or parallax we need uh, three textures uh, if I show you one is uh, EXR files and another is uh, PNG file extracted from this EXR and alpha map which also extracted from this EXR map so I am just uh, copy this link and after that uh, press B for bucket tool and here uh, I will take any material like as this color after that uh, select above up and press on plus sign name uh, what uh, you have uh, what you want to just uh, I just uh, put it name as uh, RB1 or room 1 material 1 or geo 1 mat 1 mat 1 what do you want to do then press on is use texture image test this location I already have this location and tick this PNG file after that scale up this value I will uh, put it on uh, uh, 10 feet room press ok place uh, select all and bucket it on it it will uh, take this uh, type of shape after that uh, click on this surface right button click textures position and we have to position it in right place after that uh, place it on this face this room back side place after placing adjust our sidewall um, length by click double click on it and uh, move this face towards this corner also move this face towards this corner also upper face towards this level
in this map if we see uh, we must also increase uh, decrease this length so just click on it lock axis lock after that place on it okay uh, here or oh, you have already done our 40% uh, uh, after that click on roof panel right button click texture position place roof texture this is roof lighting I just place on it after that is on left side wall texture position left side wall should be this one after that our right wall right button click on it texture position here is our uh, right wall if we see this is our right wall place according according to right position after that floor select floors right button click textures position after that position floor textures and we must need some uh, front materials or font element that's why I just um, copy this uh, backside surface uh, click on control it will uh, copy this surface and towards uh, front on it right button click textures position and scale the uh, mapping and select this uh, element for our room and place according side and after that our final finishing element right button click textures position and here is our final element curtain place it on right place ok our work have been done for making basic shape and we can also make uh, the surface transparent as uh, putting any material uh, like as uh, here ash color click place on it and uh, will, uh, transparent material transparent matte material and put value 50 percent okay and start putting this on our surface it will create our box uh, something like a transparent material and now right button click on it make component shift G component what uh, what do you want just press uh, place any name or something else I just uh, or you can create it as group make group okay now if uh, I go to render first normal render we'll see there uh, nothing so much different because uh, we cannot change our lighting effect we cannot uh, change the intensity of that light so for that we must edit uh, this material into V-Ray so for this press on B and click on alter it will select the material uh, on inner side B enter one mat edit in V-Ray click on plus sign after that emissive materials here we will put our uh, main textures click on it with map 
and put this main exr files so put click on arrow key delete this uh, free mtl and on intensity transparency material select bitmap and click on this alpha for making a transparent effect after that color manipulation invert texture place on it it will create transparency and if we render it we will get actual parallax effect on it here you will see light intensity everything is working good and looking realistic and realism effect are on it real interiors are looking forward it you can also increase depth viewing depth we can also create this and if we stay on this portion uh, it will uh, render full high resolution on 3k about on this texture sir uh, 3k resolution we can also render as much as we want so for light intensity we just uh, need to put here intensity value if we press on 2 it will increase the intensity of light inside the room if we press uh, value put value 5 it will more increase the light intensity so according to our uh, rendering exterior rendering what we uh, uh, need to put uh, the intensity of light now uh, we can put any value according to our uh, render setting we can also use uh, these parallax in uh, nscape 2 for use this this uh, component or this group uh, shall we can uh, shall be used in same rendering uh, same as any step material for uh, doing this if I render in any scape you will see nothing but a shape uh, for get the proper texture we just uh, need to cross this cross this V-Ray editor after that uh, press B click on alter select this material and here is our V-Ray default material editor uh, sorry uh, SketchUp default material editor here go to edit and here is V-Ray texture help by, uh, default image so we must replace this image according uh, to our render image so just uh, I am uh, uh, going to that folder and uh, place this alpha, uh, this normal map ok on it it will uh, place according to our rendering and uh, this is ready for use both environment like as uh, V-Ray and Anyscape if I uh, render it in Anyscape you will see our parallax will work here is our uh, parallax map but uh, light intensity is too low for increasing light intensity in uh, any scape we just uh, uh, need material edit in any scape material editor so uh, doing this select any step material editor one mat already loaded just click on self illuminate if we press self illuminate it will increase the illuminacy if i go on night render mode by pressing i it will too much lighting lightening are uh, creating their too much illuminate to decrease this illumination just uh, candela limit decrease the candela limit it will create the 
the lighting effect into real lighting effect according to our render setting. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, just share my videos uh, to another and subscribe. If you don't subscribe my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.